In today's video, meet an ancient creature that has remained unchanged for more than 400 million years, and a creature that has survived on the planet for over half a billion years. But first, let's meet this amazing Ice Age survivor. Number 12. Caribou Caribou looked like they walked straight out of the Ice Age, and that's because they did. These unique animals evolved as long as 2 million years ago. They were already present by the time humans arrived to cross the Bering Land Bridge and were surely a big part of their diets, just as they are today for native Alaskans. One of the really unique things about caribou is that they're the only species of deer in which females also grow antlers. They're usually not as big as the male's ornate headwear, but females do keep them throughout the winter to guard pits in the snow that they've dug to get their food. Then, in the springtime, they fall off. Caribou can be found in remote areas throughout Alaska and Canada. Number 11. Alligator Gar The freshwater alligator gar is one fish that you definitely do not want to find yourself staring at while swimming in the southern United States. Even though they pose no threat to humans, uh, as far as we know at least, these fish are as formidable as their namesake crocodilians. They kinda look like alligators as well, with flat snouts full of razor-sharp teeth and a body size that can range up to 300 pounds. This interesting animal also swam with the dinosaurs and is believed to be 100 million years old. You can find them hunting in most of the waterways in the southern parts of the US. But probably the safest way to view them is in zoos and giant aquariums. You know, better safe than sorry. Number 10. The Saiga Antelope Looking like a deer that desperately wants to be an elephant, Saiga antelopes are more known for their noses, which are too long to be a nose, too short to be a proper trunk. But they have beautiful, spiral-shaped horns as well, which looks like they're growing out from the top of each eye. They are one of the most ancient of living mammals, having shared the earth with saber-toothed tigers and woolly mammoths. At that time, Saiga inhabited a vast territory ranging from the British Isles to Alaska. Immense herds of Saiga numbering in the tens of thousands once roamed the steppe landscape. Although they have survived for millennia, these animals face extinction today. In the spring of 2015, a mysterious disease wiped out more than 200,000 of these magnificent animals. Number 9. The Lake Sturgeon the lake sturgeon is a freshwater fish that is even older than the alligator gar. This ancient fish actually swam around with the dinosaurs, having shown up on the map some 150 million years ago, and it still swims around the United States today. It's also a bizarre animal in its own right. It's one of the few fish today that don't have scales, only rubbery skin and a few rows of bony scutes. They can grow up to be over 7 feet long and weigh 300 pounds. Lake sturgeon population is currently on the decline, but measures have been put in place to increase their wild population. Number 8. The Chinese Giant Salamander It's pretty hard to believe that any animal that existed during the Jurassic period can still be seen today, but there are actually quite a few of them. The Chinese Giant Salamander, which is an estimated 170 million years old, is one of those creatures. It's also the largest amphibian in the world, growing up to 110 pounds and 6 feet in length. These giant salamanders used to be found widespread in chilly Chinese mountain streams, but there are hardly any left in the wild at all now due to poaching for food and traditional medicine. But even though they are quite rare in the wild, you can still marvel at these creatures in places like the Prague Zoo, where Carlo, one of the world's largest living Chinese giant salamanders, can be found living a healthy life and will hopefully be around for decades to come. Number 7. The Cassowary Cassowaries are about the closest looking thing we have to a modern day velociraptor. These tall, colorful, bipedal birds have a huge slab like ornament on the top of their head and a sharp, dagger like claw on their feet. And like the raptors of old, they are quite vicious. In fact, they have attacked and killed people. These birds have been around for about 60 million years. These days, you can find cassowaries in northern Queensland and Papua New Guinea. There have been some people, particularly in Florida, that keep them as pets, some of which have regretted doing so either by being injured or killed by this flightless bird. Number 6. The Tuatara They may look like your garden variety iguana, but the Tuatara is a very ancient reptile that is believed to have existed at the same time as the dinosaurs around 225 million years ago, give or take a few million years. Today, the Tuatara's body contains clues of this ancient history. 
In fact, they have a primitive third eye on the top of their head, although it's hard to see and sometimes grown over with scales in adults. Scientists believe this is an archaic sort of light sensor, which the reptiles use to set their daily and seasonal biological functions. In addition, tuataras can still hear sounds, even though they have no outside ears like modern-day reptiles. This is similar to how fish hear sounds underwater. Tuataras can be found in New Zealand and you can easily see them out and about, but mostly confined to islands where they have few to no natural predators. Number 5. The Frilled Shark The frilled shark first existed about 95 to 150 million years ago, and it certainly looks like it did. Frilled sharks don't look like any other shark that you've seen before. They basically have the body of an eel, but their head, with 300 trident-shaped teeth, are definitely all shark. Just behind all those teeth are a set of six frilled gills, which obviously leads to the common name of this incredibly bizarre shark. The way the fins are organized on this shark leads to an odd-looking tail, which has been compared to the wings of a throwing dart. Although this particular shark is rather uncommon, there have been scattered reports of their existence all over the world. Some places they have been found include the Eastern Atlantic around Norway, Ireland and Scotland, the Western Pacific around Japan and Australia, and in the Eastern Pacific around California and Hawaii. These reports are uncommon simply because this crazy old sea serpent prefers to stay around 500 to 1,000 meters below the surface. Number 4. The Tapir Tapirs are ancient animals that resemble pigs except for one key feature a short, elephant-like proboscis that they use for roping food into their mouths. Tapirs also use their long snouts as snorkels while walking around underwater, which is one of their favorite pastimes. While tapirs look like your favorite source of breakfast meats, i.e. the pig, they're actually more closely related to horses and rhinoceri. In fact, tapirs have a long, proud history in the fossil record, having first evolved in the Miocene Epoch as late as 23 million years ago. They've evolved into numerous species since then, although today there are only five remaining tapir species left across Asia, Central and South America. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick, which features an animal that comes from a family of reptiles that, with just one look, you'll be pretty sure walked with the dinosaurs. Find out more about this ancient creature next. Number 3. The Gharial all crocodiles, caimans, and alligators are ancient species, and they look the part. But one species of crocodilian, the gharial, sometimes called a garveal, beats them all in the prehistoric-looking beauty contest. Gharials have long, narrow, sword-like mouths full of buzzy teeth. Males develop a huge, bulbous nose at the end of their snout, making them look rather comical. Gharials in some form or another have been around for tens of millions of years, but the modern gharial is the last remaining species of this lineage. Unfortunately, it too is heading towards extinction, with fewer than 200 individual reproducing gharials left in the wilds of India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. Because of that, the IUCN has listed it as a critically endangered species. Fortunately, the Kukrail Breeding Center at Kukrail Forest Reserve in Lucknow, India, has been playing a massive role in gharial conservation efforts by breeding the creatures and sending them out to zoos all over the world. The center is also open to the public, so you can get up close and personal with these spectacular beasts. Number 2. The Horseshoe Crab Horseshoe crabs are one of the oldest species on Earth, having been around in more or less the same form since the Ordovician period, some 445 million years ago. Back in those days, the continent still hadn't formed yet. There was one single supercontinent called Gondwanaland, and horseshoe crabs could be found in abundance around its shores even then. Besides their good looks, horseshoe crabs are important to the biomedical industry, where their blue blood is used to help identify bacterial toxins. If you've ever had an injection, vaccination, or surgery, you can thank the horseshoe crab for ensuring its safety. Not a rare sight by any means, horseshoe crabs are found on the eastern U.S. coastline. You may have seen a horseshoe crab if you visited Florida's beaches. During the devastating 2018 Red Tide event in Florida, hundreds of horseshoe crabs washed ashore. Though they were once amazing at adapting to their environment, they are now facing extinction due to climate change, habitat loss, and overharvesting. Number 1. The Chambered Nautilus Dominating the ancient seas 500 million years ago, the Chambered Nautilus was a mollusk that thrived when the continents were still forming. 
Originally, there were 10,000 different species. Today, only a few survive in the Western Pacific Ocean and coast of the Indian Ocean. Chambered nautiluses hunt for fish, crabs, and lobsters by using chemosensors on their 90 retractable, succulous tentacles to pick up food scents. They use their beak-like mouth to pry open tough shells and an internal tube called the hyponemo to regulate the amount of water and air in the shell. Mastering the art of buoyancy so well that we look to the Nautilus to inspire the submarine. With gorgeous shells that come in an array of colors and patterns, the Nautilus is at risk of over-harvesting. Additionally, they are considered a highly vulnerable species due to their low productive rates, slow growth, and late maturity. See you guys next time.